Let's get that Christmas feeling grow. Sorry guys, no um, music playing in the background, but that's okay actually. So yeah, so today I am going to be reviewing my final Christmas month review of 2022, which is my re-review of Phineas and Ferb Christmas Vacation. So yeah, so before I go, I'm going to say this. Cue the intro. Christmas Eve Eve. I mean, um, yes, this is my last Christmas month review on my channel in 2022. But don't worry, guys, my Christmas month on my channel will be back next year, which will last until, I mean, next year, my Christmas month of 2023 is going to last until December 1st to um, December 24th of 2023. So stay tuned for that. And also, yeah, this is my last Christmas film for view, but don't worry, it'll be back next year, so yeah. So, without further ado, let's get started for my final Christmas film for view of 2022. So yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. So yeah. Hey guys, this is Evans, Disney's Movie Media, Tom 22, here on today. Guess what guys, and today, for my final Christmas film for view of 2022, I am going to be reviewing Phineas and Ferb. Christmas Vacation came in the year of 2009. So yeah, so I'm going to read this plot in the internet. So yeah, so basically what the plot's about, the special narrative is set during the events prior of the, se prior of the series. Follows the protagonists for these and Ferb, Ferb and discovering their city for the arrival of Santa Claus. Uh, I mean, decorating their city for the arrival of Santa Claus, but the evil mad scientist, Dr. Heinz Stephen Smurfs, uses a machine to ruin the holiday, but Phineas and Ferb must find a way to fix, to fix it and save Christmas. So yeah, so that's basically what the plot's about, about this special. So I do remember that this special actually did came out on um, December 6th of 2009, and also, yeah, but also, in an interview with the Orange County um, Register, um, Phineas and Ferb Christmas Special was described as, in as, as being very sweet, warm, special. I, we were really proud of it, actually, and the seven original songs, actually, which also, yeah. And also, um, yeah, I, I did remember that at the time... Um, this um, special received very positive reviews, actually. Which, yeah. And also, this is actually, um, the first, um, Phineas and Ferb project that's not set in the summer, actually, which is also really exciting. So, yeah, guys. So, so yeah, guys. So, what do I think of this special? I have to say, this is definitely a fantastic special. This is definitely a special definitely worth watching for for the holiday season. Like this is definitely a special that's worth um, watching for the Christmas time actually. I mean yeah. Even though that this is my last um Christmas month review of twenty twenty two. But that's okay guys. My Christmas month on my channel will be back next year, which I am gonna be reviewing um Christmas in Connecticut. I am gonna have my third um re review on Home Alone and also um and also Charlie Brown Christmas Tales and even Art for Christmas. Those are the ones that I have planned so far. But yeah, I am planning on having Christmas in Connecticut to be my first Christmas month review on my channel in 2023. I might um have a release date for um December 1st of um 2023, even though I haven't announced it yet, officially announced it yet. But that's okay actually. Which I will announce it pretty soon actually. So yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I just burped, but that's okay, okay. Hey, so, um, let's, um, now back, now 
back on to the review. So yeah. The also, yeah. I, I know this um, special is also directed by Zach McCreef, which correct me if I'm wrong if I miss <coughs> mispronounce his name. Sorry guys. Um, correct me if I'm wrong if I mispronounce his name, but yeah. But also yeah. I mean, and yeah, I mean, the the plot in the, of this special is very sweet, actually, and honestly, yeah, and also, um, yeah, and when the episode on had on Pride Program Week, um, when the episode um premiered on Disney Channel on. Um, December 11th of 2009, the same day, they got the exact same day that The Princess and the Frog was released, so yeah, <coughs> sorry guys, I just coughed, so yeah, but also, um, yeah, yeah, I did receive a large and widespread release from the Disney, um, company where it showed optimism, through um interviews and special podcasts as well, but also yeah, and also um even the characters in this special are so absolutely phenomenal. Like like um like um Phineas and Ferb themselves, and definitely my favorite character being um Candace, and um Doctor Doofenshmirtz is still hilarious. I mean he's voiced by David Palmer, the the creator of Phineas and Ferb, which yeah. Which also, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, and yeah, even all the rest of the characters in this special are definitely really great, so yeah. And also, now let's talk about the music and the score and the songs of this special, which is actually composed by, <coughs> sorry again, which I am going to look up Um, who did the I'm get, I'm just looking it up actually okay I'm um, sorry guys I was ju I'm just looking who actually um composed it. Um, oh, 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 sorry guys, I was just, I'm um, looking, um, what the composer is, I mean, yeah, the music and the score and the songs of this, um, special, which, sorry, sorry I can't find it, but it's okay, but yeah. Um, I thought the songs of this, um, special were absolutely phenomenal, like, um, um, Winter Vacation, um, Thinking Right Now, oh, I mean, Thank You, Santa Claus, um, Starting Now, um, I Don't Really Hate Christmas, which honestly, my favorite, um, song of this, um, special is definitely I Don't Really Hate Christmas, it's very catchy, actually, but yeah, and now let's talk about the animation of the special which honestly still holds up to which honestly still holds up to this day 13 years later so yeah so overall guys i have nothing else to say about this short so yeah <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys i mean yeah sorry guys i coughed because i have a cold so yeah i mean i, I meant to say about the special so yeah so overall guys i have nothing else to say so yeah so overall i mean is it for her from christmas vacation is a fantastic um special so yeah so, if you haven't seen Phoenix and Herb, Phoenix and Herb Christmas Vacation, where have you been? I recommend it. It is streaming on Disney Plus. So, yeah. So, I'm going to give Phoenix and Herb Christmas Vacation a 10 out of 10 spectacular. So, yeah, guys, what do you think of this video? Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to like this video. Honestly, my um, Christmas month on my channel of 2022 is officially wrapped. It's over. But that's okay. I mean, um... My next review is my last review of 2022 being um, um, Peanuts presents um, for for a long. I mean, it's 
I can't pronounce that name correctly. I don't know that name. Um, Alden Sir, which, sorry, I mispronounced that name, but that's okay. Um, it will be on um December eighteenth of the I mean December twenty eighth of this year. So stay tuned for that. So yeah. So I'll see you guys there and bye.